while many minds can contain the cosmos, and certainly great artists can, and they have galaxies and multiverses and whatnot, some people are are, <laughs> are the equivalent of a chimp playing cymbals together while throwing feces. Yeah. And that, that puts a lot of problems into whether or not uh, art can spread out properly. And this the worst sort of, part, worst sort part of, of those... We have going on now with many low arts being appreciated over higher arts and given more credence by academics who are completing a long cycle of destroying the minds of the youth. And the worst part about the shit-throwing chimps like a David Foster Wallace or a Dave Eggers or a Mark Rothko or a Jackson Pollock is when they're claimed to be the, the best that we have rather than shit throwing chimps. You have to be able to have a critical mind and criticism's main purpose is to say this is good, this is bad, this is why, this is what you can get from it. And and the I, this is another thing I've talked about many times, the idea that there's no such thing as objectivity. Yes, there is objectivity. Uh, just because you don't have the ability to step back and say this this is what works, this is what doesn't work, and why, and you can you can show many patterns of this over over centuries and and thousands or millions of artworks. The, the, this is this is a, a terrible thing because in the impulse to be demotic and 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 try to rectify the wrongs that are outside of the arts, a lot of artists sacrifice. Uh, art on that altar to try to serve some political purpose or to serve some other ecumenical purpose of perhaps noble intent, but which usually ends up to just be shit-throwing monkeys.